got to know and you've mentioned to him actually was John Gregg maybe the greatest ever Rangers player maybe the player the manager and then the broadcaster you worked with him tell me about John and, and how well you got to know him right well <laughs> when I um, made my first trip with Rangers uh, as a newspaper man uh, it was almost like nobody wanted to speak to me or they had been told not to speak to me and uh, this was because of my Catholic background, I presume. And uh, but anyway, we, we landed in Germany and uh, the next morning I'm going down for breakfast and I hear voices and it was a curved stairway and uh, I, I recognised this voice right away. It was David Francie, the radio commentator, who had a slight uh, Rangers leaning, <laughs> I suspect. <laughs> And I heard him saying to, to John, John Gregg, because uh, I recognised his voice, obviously. And uh, he said, uh, can I get a lift al along in a team bus to the, the training session, which was in the main stadium, the Mungersdorfer, as it was known then. And uh, Greg, Greg said to him, he says, can't David, he says, Willie Waddle's saying that uh, no way Jerry McNee ever gets in the Rangers team bus. That was my introduction to travelling with Rangers. I said nothing. I was tempted to come round the curve and say, good morning, gentlemen. But I just kept it to myself. And that's what I was up against at the, at the start. Mm. But despite that, you know, once uh, Waddle moved on, uh, things loosened up a bit and uh, I got to know John better. I never mentioned it to him, ever. And... Um, when he lost the job, 